Oh hell yeah, it's still stuck in my head. <laughs> anyway, anyway, guys, I'm Striker. And Biohazard. Once again, we fucked up the commentary. <laughs> Third time running! Holy shit! This isn't a recording session, it's a Jim Carrey cartoon. <laughs> God damn it. I was lazy, so I chose the GameCube version of the game. Eh, nothing wrong with that. I actually prefer GameCube. So do I. I hate using motion controls. Well, yeah. Honestly, who thought that was a good idea? Yeah, we're gonna make you play a game. For a fan base that, for a lack of better words, is not athletic, let's put in motion control so they have to get up and move around. Yeah, that really works. Hey, what? Uh, what can you say? Nintendo keeps fucking up ever since the Wii came out. Yeah. Actually, ever since Skyward Sword came out, all they've done so far is fuck not up. Not just since Skyward Sword, since the remake of this. Oh, for the Wii? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Wii U version is pretty much the same thing as this. I mean, how many times do you have to bang your head against a brick wall to think that was a good idea? <laughs> Too high for me to count? Mm-hmm. And then the switch, that was rushed. Yeah. The, the switch is just this encasement of failure waiting to happen. I mean, there's quite a good amount of people that have working Joy-Cons and all that random shit. But then there's also a, yeah. shit, ton, a shit ton of people that have uh, received broken ones from Nintendo. Yeah, but also, they had this thing where they, the idea of being able to take it with you on the go is a perfect idea. Just install a sufficient battery. Yeah. Like, if you want people to use your product in the way you intend, you have to make sure it's up to par for what they want. It's like marketing 101. Yeah, man. But then again, there's people that just love Nintendo and will buy whatever the fuck they put out. <sighs> because that it's Nintendo. What, that's what a lot of people call the feeding trough. Bunch of pigs will run into E3, see the newest thing, and go, I want that. And then three months later, they figure out, Oh my god, I wasted a hundred dollars on this shit. <laughs> yep. That's that's how people felt with the GameCube. Well, at least at first. Until, actually, was Melee a launch title? I can't remember. I think it was. But when Melee came out, everyone was hyped. Yeah, it's just part of the cycle of product want something that people like come out it just it starts to around. circulate yeah they start pushing out better versions of the system regardless they had to fix their own glitches at first but uh, here's where the game takes a sharp nosedive this one? 
Yeah. It takes a nice sharp nosedive into furry territory. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like watching a guy shake as he blows into something. <laughs> the Japanese would know about that. Isn't that right, Nintendo? They didn't answer. <laughs> Why didn't they answer? Oh wait, they never do. <laughs> they never do what people actually want. Yep. What I really want from Nintendo, and what will really get me to buy a Switch, is Melee HD. Mm. That's the only reason I would buy a Switch. <laughs> For me, it would require some actual effort in making a new game. Maybe HD, then a new game, okay? <laughs> yeah, that works. Because, <laughs> like, they, they have so many games that have a sufficient holding pattern, but it doesn't offer anything new for people that don't have any interest in any of those games. Yeah, I think their one good game for the Switch right now is Breath of the Wild. I have not been able to try it yet. I haven't tried it either. I've just seen it, and I'm like, I'm going to buy the Wii U version of that, mainly so that I don't waste yeah. 300 bucks just for a new game. Yeah. Like, the only reason I bought a Wii was so that I could play my old Spyro game. Seriously. Yeah. Because I had so much nostalgia thinking about it. Uh, throughout this goat race thing, I managed to get a shit ton of them in at the same time. <laughs> the, this was always something that kind of got to me. Because I would always um, see what would happen... Like, I'd play it for, like, a week, forget about it, replay it, and then go back and say, I wonder what happens if I hit the goat with my sword. <laughs> Nothing good, my friend. Nothing good. Uh, what? They ram into you? They start to chase you. Yeah, they do the same thing if you press the A button too much. It's the equivalent of the chickens from the original Zelda games. There's an actual chicken in this. Yeah. I don't think it takes damage. I, I haven't tried yet. I did figure out a way to... um. can't remember which game this was. But there was a way to escape the chickens by going into the water and putting on the boots. The iron boots. Oh yeah, in Ocarina of Time there was just a time limit. Yeah. And here I kept fucking up uh, the jump. <laughs> I think we all had trouble with that at first. Here's the thing. The majority, or the number one game that I have the most uh, game time in uh, mm. would be Ocarina of Time. So I should know how to do this shit. And I play the copy that I bought from you for 30 bucks or something. I gave it to you for 20. Really? I was originally going to charge you like 100. Because it was a special edition. Yeah, it's collector, uh, Zelda Collector's Edition for GameCube. Yeah. And right here, I kept trying to jump um, over the fence. But I, or when he says jump over the fence when you, once you're done, I kept trying to jump over the wrong fence. <laughs> There's, there's just this point in the video where all the gamers are going to hang their heads in shame just watching this. I know. This, um, as of recording this, this Game, Thro 
or the gameplay that's being uploaded yeah. is um, my second playthrough. My first playthrough, I made it to the wolf and maybe a little bit past that. Also, don't worry, people. Next time, we'll actually try to get it right and upload actual commentary, not just afterthought. Episode 2 is already recorded. Oh, you fucking idiot. No, with commentary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I've got to say, at least for the time, Twilight Princess was a astounding game. Yeah. It has an awesome Link model, and the story yeah. itself is really creative. Uh, it's kind of, but there's also a, um, there's been a theory going around about the ghost soldier that you find. I realized here that later. there's a fire going on in the, in the house at all times. Yeah. There are also magic stones that turn arrows into fire arrows. I know. Things here are not that surprising. <laughs> I've played Ocarina of Time, played half of Majora's Mask. I mean, I just got bored with Majora's Mask. I don't know why. It's because, like, halfway through, Majora's Mask becomes do the same things over and over and over and over and over. Yep, and I mean, after just getting past the second temple, mm -hmm. um, I'm like, hey, I need to beat this, or I need to beat this game. Then I realize, wait, I gotta reset the timeline. And then in order to go to the third temple, um, out of the four, I need to then <laughs> redo all a bunch of shit that I just did for the uh, first and second temples. It's bullshit. Yep. But technically you could attribute it to being uh, just... Uh, I forgot where I was going with this. Fuck. I had somewhere I was going with it. That, um, <laughs> fuck me. I'd rather not <sighs> bite me. Still, I'd rather not. Once again, rather not. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, well, if you actually look at the things that you have to wake up from each temple you kind of realize that um those are timeless beings if you actually look at it yeah it's basically an interlooping point that these things will wake up if they hear a specific song. Yep. So it doesn't really matter if you reset this timeline, they're gonna hear it. Yep. But... Speaking of Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, there is a... theory going around that the dead soldier that you learn sword strikes from is actually Link. a past Link, yes. The hero of time Link. Yeah, because when he left into the forest they have even said that when people go into the forest and get lost, they die and come back as spirits. Uh, Solphos. Yeah. 
I hate this crawling animation. Or climbing. To be honest, that's what you look like when you crawl. The fuck? No, I fuck up there. I've seen you try to climb. What did I try to remember climb? Remember the bleacher, the bleachers at uh, Turlington? I don't remember. <laughs> Seriously, it's been like what a year and a half. Year now? maybe. Yeah, somewhere around that time. <laughs> what? Nothing. And here I decided to fuck around with the map. Uh. -oh. Imagine if you had actually remembered to put the audio in. It probably would have been worse than what it is now. I find that very hard to imagine. Have you actually seen my single player uh, commentary? No. Exactly. I don't watch a lot of videos in my freaking recommendations list. At least view episode 2 of this. I'll have to watch that massive hole of fail. What do you mean? I don't know, I'm just talking on my ass right now. Uh, I think that's what we're both doing right now. Pretty much. The one thing that always annoyed me about this game was, um, the one armor that you could get near the end of the game. Is that the rupee armor? Yeah. It required you to have a shit ton of money to buy it, and a shit ton of money to actually wear it. Uh, wasn't it basically you were impervious to damage as long as you wore it, but... If you ran out of money, you were basically a walking paperweight. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, is it slower to wear the iron boots in Ocarina of Time and walk on land? Or wear that armor without any rupees? I can't remember. It's been such a long time. And I can't really play it right now because all my saves are corrupted. Uh, how so? Well, I used a USB stick and it was kind of left out for a while. Oh, okay. And it started to corrupt itself. Did you play it on Dolphin? No, I just had extra memory space. I'm talking for, about um, playing it on a thumb drive. No, it was a modified thumb drive for my Wii. Uh, did you play it, uh, through a USB loader? <sighs> Kinda. It's kinda hard to explain. I'm playing this through, um, an application from Homebrew. Is that what yeah, you use? Yeah, but it was just, it was just a, it was just a modified USB to add more storage to the Wii. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause I didn't want to delete any of my saves. I just delete the saves of games that I don't play. Well, I used to play a lot of games because I... <sighs> it's just what I did.